Never Ending Storytime presents The Berenstain Bears Go on a Ghost Walk Nothing makes a grown-up bear feel more like a cub than ghosts and monsters and lots of Halloween hubbub. Papa Bear always loved Halloween. He loved going trick-or-treating when he was a cub. He also loved going on haunted hay rides when he was a teen. He loved giving out treats to trick-or-treaters who came to the treehouse. But this Halloween was going to be the best yet because he was in charge of Bear Country School's ghost walk. Yes, sir, he said. I'm going to put on the best ghost walk ever. May we help? asked Brother and Sister Bear. Absolutely, said Papa. I'm going to need all the help I can get because this is going to be the spookiest ghost walk in the history of Bear Country. Now, dear, said Mama Bear, I know the ghost walk is for a good cause. That's right, said Papa. It's for the benefit of Bear Country School and every cent from ticket sales is going to the school. That's all very well, dear, said Mama, but I do hope you're not letting yourself get carried away. My dear, said Papa, that's what Halloween is all about, getting carried away. Come, cubs, we're going to the party goods store for supplies, and afterward, we're going to stop off at Farmer Ben's pumpkin patch. Ben's donating some pumpkins for the ghost walk. With Halloween coming soon, the party goods store had everything Papa needed. Let's see now, he said. Ghosts, skeletons, bats, black cats, cobwebs, scary masks, and spooky tapes to play on the school's loudspeaker system. And then, turning to the store clerk, he added, Do you have a nice big spray can of cobwebs? Just this large economy size, sir she said. That'll be fine, said Papa. We have a whole school to cobweb. Farmer Ben's pumpkin patch was in all its orange glory in the afternoon sun. Greetings, Papa Bear, said Farmer Ben. I put aside some of my best looking pumpkins for the school ghost walk. I appreciate that, Ben, said Papa, but good-looking pumpkins aren't what I had in mind. Don't you have any weird misshapen ones? Sure, said Ben. Over here, behind the barn, I was going to grind them up for the hogs. Perfect, said Papa. They're the ones that make the spookiest jack-o'-lanterns. Papa went right to work on the jack-o'-lanterns when he got back to his shop. Just scooping out the insides was a lot of work. He soon had a whole trash can full of pumpkin innards. Spooky enough for you, said Papa, as he finished the first couple of jack-o'-lanterns. Plenty spooky, said Brother. Y y yes said Sister. But not as spooky as the pumpkin monster, cried Papa, scooping up great gobs of globby innards and running after the cubs. Help! they cried. They bumped into Mama, who came to see what was going on. Please, Papa, she said. What are you trying to do? Give the cubs nightmares? It's all in fun, said Papa. Maybe so, said Mama. But try to remember, one person's fun is another person's nightmare. But Mama, said Papa, Halloween is supposed to be scary. Come, cubs, said Mama. Back to the house. It's time to start turning in. Gee whiz, said Papa as he headed back to his shop. Nobody wants to have fun anymore. Everything's got to be nicey-nice, goody-two-shoes. Well, I'll show them. Hoo, said an owl that was perched atop the shop. Me, Papa Q-Bear, that's who, Papa said, and went back to work on his jack-o'-lanterns. 
With just a few days to go until Halloween, Papa and the Cubs went to work getting their country school ready for the ghost walk. They put Papa's super spooky jack-o'-lanterns in every classroom. They hung skeletons, bats, ghosts, and black cats in the corridors. They festooned the whole school with cobwebs. Since this was a school ghost walk, Papa thought it would be a nice idea to include the great monsters of bear literature. Using masks and old clothes stuffed with straw, they made the Frankenbear monster and Grizzula the bear vampire. Then they borrowed some ace bandages from Coach Grismeyer and made a bear mummy. Are we done, Papa? asked Sister. There's just one more thing and we'll be ready for the ghost walk, he said. I want to try the spooky laughter tape on the school's loudspeaker system. Then he started the tape and the whole school was echoing with spooky laughter. Ha 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 Soon it was the night before the big ghost walk. Brother and sister were trying on their costumes. Brother was going to be Super Bear. Sister was going to be a princess. Baby Honey was going to be an angel. Mama decided to just wear a mask. Papa's going to be in charge of the whole thing, said brother. What's he going to be? You'll see in a minute, said Mama. He's in the other room changing. Black Bear the Pirate, cried Papa, leaping into the room. The meanest, scariest, bloodthirstiest pirate ever to sail the seas. And was he ever. He had a hook on one hand, a dagger stuck through his skull and crossbones hat, and a big sword dripping blood stuck through his chest. Brother and sister were terrified. Baby Honey began to cry. Papa, said Mama, how could you? Don't you remember what I said about one person's fun being another person's nightmare? But dear, said Papa, they're not real. They're just a trick hook and dagger and a trick sword with fake blood. See? He took them off and showed how they worked. It's just for Halloween. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's all in fun. Maybe so, but that night all of Papa's Halloween fun came to life in the scariest nightmare he ever had. The hideous gloppy pumpkin monster, the scary skeleton, bats and the black cat, the creepy ghost, the Frankenbear monster, Grizzula the bear vampire, and the ace Spanish mummy all came after him. Terrified, Papa threw off the covers and leaped out of bed, screaming, Yay! Brother and sister came running. They and Mama comforted Papa and tried to calm him down. I th th think I see what you mean about fun and nightmares, he said. The Bear Country School Ghost Walk was a great success, and a fine spooky time was had by all, even Black Bear the Pirate. He kept his trick hook, but he left his trick dagger and his trick sword with the fake blood at home. Never Ending Storytime is by design intended to fulfill the needs of all children by providing stories that can be enjoyed either with the sound on or off. It is our mission to inspire children to discover, imagine, create, and explore through books. Life is always better when it's shared, so next time you visit, bring a friend. If you enjoyed this story, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to receive a new story each week. Feel free to comment below with any book requests or recommendations. Thank you for joining us. You can find this book if it's still available, along with other gently used books at my eBay store, Dice Outside the Box. Dice is an acronym for Discover, Imagine, Create, Explore. 
10% of all purchase sales made at my store are donated to Doctors Without Borders. If you prefer a brand new copy of this book, you can find one at Amazon. Books make great gifts and can be easily shipped anywhere, but are best appreciated when personally delivered. I challenge you to grab a few books and go to your local children's hospital and try it. If you discover, imagine, create, explore, you will be changed forevermore. Produced by Never Ending Storytime, read by Nicole Monique Miller, written by Stan and Jan Berenstain. If I'm honest, I have to tell you, I still read fairy tales, and I like them best of all. Audrey Hepburn. <laughs>